I am going to um, plant some of my seeds that I purchased to plant during the spring and summer. I purchased this little mini greenhouse. It was only $7. So that I can raise my seeds to a certain um, height before transplanting in the garden. So I have my tray here. I've never used one of these before. It has some little air vents. Of course the cover to keep it protected and warm. special seed raising mix but I had a bit of potting mix left and I mixed it in with some of my sand that I have in the garden. We have very very sandy soil where I live. So I'll just show you the seeds that I purchased from Aldi or this one is from Bunnings. This was five dollars. I thought I'd try my hand at growing some watermelon this summer because I absolutely love watermelon. And this variety is all sweet. Sweet red flesh, almost seedless. with a few seeds in there tend to be a bit more sweeter than the seedless watermelon in my experience anyway so that's that'll be one row now the remainder remainder of the seeds that I have I purchased for 99 cents each from Aldi or Aldi and that is basil tomato and that is um, money maker tomato which is supposed to be a medium sized variety and it produces heavy crops which is always good I have some parsley I normally like the Italian parsley but they didn't have any so I just grabbed That's all as far as the fruit and veggies go. I also bought some alyssum, which is a lovely uh, white flower. It also comes in other colours, violet and pinks and purples, but I tend to like the white. And this is good because it self-seeds everywhere. I've let mine in the garden self-seed for so many years now they're quite thin so I've got three packets of sunflower seeds I want to try and make a pate with the seeds once they've grown on the, the plant And they always look pretty in the garden too. And also some Californian poppy. So I'll have probably have to purchase another seed raising mix. Either that or just do one tray at a time. So I think I might want those 
those three to start off with. Definitely a row of sunflowers. A row of Californian poppy. And some alyssum. So I'll keep these seeds aside for another time. watering here, I might have to take it outside. And I bought a big tub for ten dollars of some general carbon fertilizer which is quite strong with the smell. I'll just put a few sprinkles of that on. I have a little stick poke some holes in the soil to put my seed in, my gloves and some sand that I might be able to separate the seeds with or thin them out better if you throw them in a little bit of sand they're not as compact and you don't end up with Twenty plants in one little square that way. And just before I get started, I thought I'd show you some Dutch iris, which I planted in the garden today. I've got my daffodils, which have already finished flowering actually, and I am trying my hand at some tulips. So hopefully, at the end of spring or middle of spring, I'll be able to do it another garden walk around for you. So I got some yellow Dutch iris and some white with some yellow centers there or a yellow tongue. I think that's called. Okay so just before we get started I'm going to number each column so I know what I've planted have my permanent marker so that'll be one two three four five six and then I have a pad uh, a notebook here office for some time so I'm going to use it specifically for my garden. So I'm just going to number from one to six. Thank you. 
the three layers and sixteen on the top. The seeds are going to be very, very small. So let's just have a look at them before. Two seeds in each compartment, just in case one doesn't germinate. variety is um, dry some seeds from the actual plants so that I don't have to buy them again okay so that's the tomatoes done I'm going to close that bit later with some sticky tape, seal it down and pop it in here. So I'll do that later. So that's the tomato. Now I'll just move the soil back. I have my gloves here but I don't know if I'll need to use them. I can do the same thing with these as well. I'll cut this end because they've they're fairly tight down. Each compartment. I better make sure 
can't see how deep to plant them. Most seeds are the same, 50 centimetres apart, 12 millimetres deep, so that's a little bit deeper. between seven to ten days to germinate so if they work I might even buy another tray so let's just cover them up okay so that's the watermelon done Excited in springtime, it's the beginning of spring now. Everything, the weather slowly gets nicer, and all the pretty plants come up, and it's time to grow more veggies. So, number three will be basil, sweet basil. of some tags that I can stick in each compartment. So that's five mil as well. Five mil deep. things in It's cold here overnight. So it's good that I can put the cover on there. Number four. 
before. So now we're on to the flowers. Let's make number four of the sunflower. This is a giant single sunflower. So I'll write that down. Watermelon seeds, but a, a little bit bigger. Okay. So hopefully, if they all germinate, there'll be two plants to each compartment. So two, four, six, eight. some seeds from the plants. Five hundred seeds in here, so that must be very small. And this is five mil deep. Again.
in the night. Don't think I'll be using that sand if I was propagating them or planting them, sorry, in, in straight in the garden. I'll probably get a jar of sand and mix all the seeds in that. Californian poppy. I do hope they germinate and work out because then I'll be able to show you when they're flowering or fruiting. snow cloth for a fact these are going to be tiny because I've planted these before. Oh, and I shouldn't have snipped the whole top off. Oh well. Right there, let's prepare. so small or small they fit in the creases of my palm. So I might tap these right into the hole. These are great just to sow straight into the garden. As long as you keep it well watered while they're young.
Right, pop the gloves on. I should have mixed it in the soil first, but oh well. Of course, when I plant them in the garden outside, they'll be much bigger and I'll be able to fertilize them. Stop dripping. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. So now I'm going to pop the, the little. So this is going to stay inside tonight, but first thing in the morning I'm going to place them outside. open the shutters up the little air vents but for now I'm going to shut them I think you open them if you want some air circulating through there so they don't get too hot so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video I can't wait to show you produce